My name is Sara Montagnese and I work as a liver doctor, also teaching internal medicine at the University of Padova in Italy. And since a few weeks, I also work part-time in the United Kingdom, more of a sleep doctor and circadian rhythms doctor. How do I know that I have a decompensated cirrhosis? I don't think that there is any question that when you have decompensated cirrhosis, you know you have it in the sense that cirrhosis is a feature of your liver, which becomes small and hardened for very different reasons, but the end result is the same. And this can be a situation where you feel nothing and you show nothing. So neither your family or your doctors would pick it up. But when it decompensate, you either start feeling something or somebody picks up on something. For example, your skin might acquire a yellowish uh, discoloration, which is called jaundice, or your tummy might become much bigger because fluid accumulates in it, and that's called ascites. You could also get fluid in your legs. Um, you could bleed from your gallet, which is something that's very dangerous. Um, you could also feel or look to other people who know you well, slightly slow, slightly confused, and that's called hepatic encephalopathy. So decompensated cirrhosis is characterized by a number of symptoms, so some stuff that you would feel, or signs, which is something that a doctor would pick up. So this sounds quite bad, but will this diagnosis mean automatically that I will die? No, no, of course not. Turning from a compensated to a decompensated state is a, a turning point in the evolution of, or what doctors call the natural history of your disease. But it can depend on some precipitating event. So you can decompensate, for example, because you caught a bug, you have an infection, or because you've drunk alcohol in excess. So there can be a very obvious cause for a decompensation at any moment in time. And some of the patients who develop this event may only develop it once, but a significant proportion will decompensate again. And sometimes there's no obvious cause. So the fact that you have decompensated means that your disease is evolving. Of course, it doesn't mean you will die, but it does mean that you need to be referred to a liver center, preferably a tertiary referral liver center, either with transplant facilities or with transplant facilities connection. So in these situations, once you have decompensated, it is extremely important that any risk factors that are obvious are removed. So for example, if you're drinking too much, you have to stop. If you have a viral infection with hepatitis that can be cured, this is put in place. And also that you're monitored regularly to ensure that if you don't decompensate again, or if you do, you're in safe hands. And if you need a transplant, you've already been worked out for that. Okay, so thank you very much for your time. Thank you.